Hey, what's going on? Today we are going to talk about the first really important thing you need to get right when it comes to building a successful voiceover business, and that is professional studio quality audio from your home studio. But before we get into that today, just a reminder, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell to make sure that you're reminded when I release new content. All right, so as a voiceover talent, we are faced with a bit of a conundrum. That is, we need pro sounding audio to be successful. I mean, forget performance right now, forget everything else. Just, it really starts with having a good quality audio product from a technical standpoint. But the problem, the challenge comes in is that we work from home. Now I've been doing this full time for the past 15 years. And for the first four years of my career, I operated out of my bedroom closet. Now it was an interior closet, it was a walk-in closet, but I don't know of anyone, including all my voiceover friends, who have a completely 100% sound proof home recording studio. There's just stuff that you have to contend with. Airplanes, dogs, neighbors. I remember once I was preparing to do a remote session. This is back in the days of ISDN, which means I was, which is a high speed telephone line, which is nearly impossible to get these days. But I used to have that so I could record remotely with other studios. Now I use Source Connect as an aside. But anyhow, I'm preparing for this session that, that's to start at a very specific time. Minutes before that session begins, my next door neighbor decides to start mowing his lawn, which was my greatest fear. My greatest fear was that I was going to be doing a directed session with a client in a you know, major studio, major city, big dollars on the line, and that somebody somehow was going to make a noise that was going to make me look like an amateur. So... <laughs> I, I rushed outside. I ran next door. The guy's name was Joe. My neighbor's name was Joe. Joe, could you wait 30 minutes? Because I have a recording session. Now, here's the thing. Joe had no idea what I did for a living. I think Joe probably thought I was unemployed because I never left home in the morning for my commute to work. I was always at home. The only time they saw me was when I was out working in the yard or I went out to get my mail. He was probably shocked again just to find out I was working. But regardless, okay, my neighbor, he records for a living. So now I need to stop and wait, which he did. He was gracious and did. But as you can imagine, number one, it's a bit embarrassing and inconvenient to ask your neighbors to have to work around your schedule. And and, and number two, there are some things that are out of your control. You can't do that with a dog three houses down. You can't do that with an airplane that's going over your house. There are always things that we have to deal with that can be very frustrating as a voiceover talent. Yet again, the conundrum, we need pro sounding audio. Well, what do you do? Well, first of all, let me share a little bit of my progression. If you know me at all, you probably know that I believe in operating out of cash flow as opposed to debt. In other words, I would never recommend going out and spending thousands of dollars to get yourself up, up and running in voiceover on equipment and things that you don't have to have right off the bat. You need equipment, but you don't need to spend a lot of money is my point. And when it comes to home studio, what I recommend when you're first getting started, if you don't have the resources, if money is a bit tight, is to set up at home the best you can, which is what I did. And I did it for four years, making six figures. Wasn't always convenient, but I got the job done. I found a closet. You may have a spare room. You may have a place in your basement. The key is to find a quiet place. So quietness is the first thing. Again, you're not going to find a 100% quiet place, but you find the quietest place you can. Number two is sound treatment. So once you get the quiet thing done, at least as best you can, the next thing to do is to treat the space around you so your voice doesn't reflect or bounce off the walls to create that hollow reverb -y sound. That's not pro. The way to do that, you can simply, you can use moving blankets. Uh, I remember I used to have a, a Walmart mattress topper behind my microphone to stop sound reflections. And in the closet, I was surrounded by clothing. So there are a number of things that you can do. And you, if you want to get more expensive and buy acoustic foam, you can certainly do that as well. But when you're first getting started, most of us start on a budget. So those are some of the things that I did. However, it was always frustrating because I'd never had complete control over what was going on, like my neighbor and such. So when I started making money, and again, I was making good, consistent money, I decided it was time to upgrade. And I did that by purchasing a whisper room. Now, let me explain what that is. A whisper room is a professionally created, prefabricated unit that you can put in your home that will block out most of the outside noise. Now, I think I need to say that there is no 100% solution available unless you build a studio from the ground up with the concrete and the floating floors. And now I'm getting to things I don't even really fully understand, but now it's a thing. It's a very expensive thing. But a whisper room is created for people like us who work from home to help to isolate outside 
outside noise and keep it out. So once I get, I've got a whisper room, I set that up in my home and I've actually put it in the closet. Now, and now I've moved several times since then. So now it's set up in a spare room in the home where I live now. But once I set up this whisper room, it gave me peace of mind that's hard for me to explain because my biggest anxiety as a voiceover talent was the thing that I couldn't control. Was that dog barking? Was that airplane? Was the neighbor starting up the snow blower or the lawn mower or a truck passing by or a car blowing the horn? I mean, go on and on and on. All of these things that we have no control over. But once I had a whisper room, it filtered most everything out. Noise was no longer a problem for me. And I cannot tell you, number one, what a relief emotionally that was for me. But number two, how it upped my game how it upped my audio game, the quality of my audio. I was finally able to deliver a consistent product every time because these things filter out most of the sounds well treated on the inside. Now, I am proud to say that Whisper Room is now a sponsor of my channel. I'm very grateful for that. And I want to recommend that you check them out because Whisper Room does a couple of things. Number one, it gives you a very, not only a quiet place, but a very comfortable place to work. Now, I work for some pretty long hours and I'm sitting in a booth they have various sizes and I got a smaller one. It's about three and a half feet wide by five feet long and just over six feet tall. It's my little, I call it my cocoon. <laughs> It's my happy place. It's quiet. It's very comfortable. So it gives you a consistent, comfortable place to work. They've created them to be perfect for people who, I mean, musicians certainly use them, but for voiceover talent, it's a great place to record voiceovers. And they've actually created two specific packages just for voiceover talent. So what I want to encourage you to do is to go below in the description, click the link, check out their packages and see what they have and see if there might be something that will help you elevate your voice over game. Because remember, if you don't get the audio part right, the rest of it doesn't matter. Because that's the fastest way to shoot yourself in the foot in voiceover, and I've said this a number of times, that is to present bad quality audio. From a technical standpoint, bad quality audio to your client. Whisper Room has helped me deliver a consistent product for many years now. So again, go below in the description, click the link, check them out. Now, once you have the audio piece together, obviously the performance piece has to fall into place. And that's what I will be talking about in my next video. So again, make sure you're subscribed, click the bell, make sure you're notified. Thanks so much for watching the video today. I greatly appreciate it. If you go below in the description, you'll find out all about Whisper Room. And that's where I put all of my resources, the things that I recommend, the things that I use to hopefully make your voiceover journey easier.